Good day mga kamatiniks. Once again, this is Serge Hay. And for today's topic, I am going to discuss to you about the application of geometric sequence. To easily understand this lesson, you will need to recall the steps in answering word problems you have to apply the concepts that you have learned in geometric sequences. It is also necessary to use your skills in distinguishing finite from infinite geometric sequences. Okay? So, let's have example number one. Okay, so before that, let's uh, hear this story. The recent COVID-19 pandemic changed the entire nation. In January 2020, WHO's estimated transmission rate or RO is between 1.4 and 2.5. This value represents the average number of people to which a single infected person will transmit the virus. So, yun yung ating, uh, yun yung transmission rate, estimated transmission rate, 1.4 to 2.5. Okay, so this value represents the average number of people to which a single infected person will transmit the virus. So, what does this imply about the risk posed by the virus? This is one of the possible applications of geometric sequences. You are now ready to answer word problems involve, involving geometric sequences. So, in the previous lesson, we follow a series of steps to answer word problems. First, we determine the given values in which value is missing. Then, we look for the best formula or strategy. That will help us solve the missing value. After solving, we interpret the answer. So let us let us start with the following example. According to forecast report number 10 posted by UP Media and Public Relations Office, the country's transmission rate is now at 1.2. Okay? 1.2. So yung blue dito class, yung blue na, na line that represents the at reproduction number for the Philippines. Okay, shown a seven-day moving average based on the new COVID-19 case reports per day. Yun yung kulay blue. And the number of individuals who tested positive, yun yung kulay red. Okay? Which accounts for the backing to, for the backlog in data. A value of uh, rep, RO less than 1, okay, less than 1, indicates the pandemic is slowing. Pero tingnan nyo dito, class, yung ating uh, average, ito, transmission rate, is now at 1.2. Okay, so ibig sabihin, class, hindi pa bumababa yung kaso. Instead, pataas, siya, pataas pa siya ng pataas. Okay? Kasi yung ating reproduction number ay uh, less, greater than 1 greater than 1 indicates the pandemic is still spreading in both uh, in both estimates the current value of ro is around 1.2 yung ating reproduction number so what does this mean this means that an infected person can transmit the virus to an average of 1.2 persons so let's have an example suppose that there are 123 asymptomatic individuals they were tested positive on June 9. How many individuals will possibly in be infected by June 21 if the transmission rate remains at 1.2? So, ilang days class from June 9 to June 21? Ilang days lahat yon. So, a total of 13 days lahat, di ba? 13 days. Okay, so ito yung ating gagamitin ha na formula. This one. Yan na formula yung ating gagamitin. A sub n equals A sub 1 times R raised to n minus 1. So, yung ating n dito ay 13. Kasi from June 9 to June 21, we have 13 days in all. Okay? So, 21 minus 9 plus 1. Bakit may plus 1? Kasi kasama yung June 9. Kasama kasi si June 9. That's why n is equal to 13. So, A sub 1 is 123. Then R is 1.2. Ito yung ating, uh, yung kanyang reproduction rate, 1.2. Okay? 
Okay, so ito yung ating ratio, kumbaga, yung 1.2. So substitute, yung A sub 1, papalitan mo siya ng 123, and yung R, papalitan mo ng 1.2, tapos yung N, papalitan mo na ang 13. 13 minus 1 is 12. Then, unahin itong exponential form natin. Evaluate first the exponent. 1.2 raised to 12 is uh, 8.9, 8.92. Okay, ano muna kaagad? So, then ay 123 times 8.92. Then, 123 times 8.92 is 1,096.68 So yan ngayon yung kanyang A sub 13. Yan, ito yung total number of uh, ano natin, COVID uh, patients sa June 21. So thus, there will possibly be 1,096 infected individuals on June 21. So, it is also important to note that this is just a projection. Actual values may differ if the public strictly follows the health protocols issued by the government. So, letter B. How do we found out the projected total new COVID-19 cases from June 9 up to June 21? So, ilan lahat yung ano natin dito mga possible infected individuals from June 9 to June 21? So, kukunin natin yung sum. Yung sum nila from June 9 to June 21. So, ito yung formula na ating gagamitin dito. S sub N, ito na formula. S sub N equals A sub 1 times quantity of 1 minus R raised to N all over 1 minus R. Okay, may dalawang ano tayo dito. Pwede rin A sub 1 minus A sub 1 minus A sub 1, pwede rin ito ha, ito na, ito na formula. A sub n, A sub 1 minus A sub n times R. Pwede rin ganun, ha? Okay, dalawa yan. Kasi, okay. So, ito muna na formula yung ating gagamitin. Itong pinakauna. Dito class, hindi, hindi na kailangan yung last term natin. Ano ba yung last term natin? Di ba ito? Si 1096. Ito yung ating last term eh, si 1,096.68. So, hindi na kailangan si last term dito. Yung A sub 1 na lang, pati yung R, pati yung N. Okay, so i-substitute natin. Yung A sub 1, palitan ng 123. Tapos, yung R, papalitan ng 1.2. At yung N, papalitan ng 13. So, simplify it. Uh, unahin muna yung nasa loob ng parenthesis natin ha. So, that is 123 times the quantity of 1 minus yung 1.2 natin raised to 13. 1.2 raised to 13 is 10 point, pagpalagay natin 10.7. Okay, 10.7. Rounded off na to ha. 10.7. All over itong 1 minus 2 natin, 1 minus 1.2 is 0.2. That is negative 0.2. Okay? Then, 123 times 1 minus 10.7. And that is negative 9.7. So, negative 9.7 over negative 0.2. Then, ito na. I-times mo na yan. Okay, i-times mo na to, 123, 123 times 9, negative 9.7 is, yan ay magiging negative 1,193.1. Then divided by negative 0.2. So, negative, parehas yan sila negative, so magiging positive. So, therefore, the sum is 5,965.08. So, thus, there will be a projected total of 5,000, i-round off muna siya, 
into its whole number. Round off muna to the nearest whole number. Round off to the nearest whole number. So, yung projected total natin dito is 5,965 infected individuals from June 9 to June 21. Okay, meron din tayong gamitin natin yung solution number 2 in which ang formula natin ay a sub 1, a sub n equals a sub 1 minus a sub n times r all over 1 minus r. Dito class, sinama natin yung last term. Okay, so sinama natin si last term. Ano ba yung last term natin dito? Ito, si 1096.68. Ayan, so substitute lang natin. Ito yung ating first term. Ito yung last term, 1096.68. Yung R at yung ating N. So, substitute mo lang. Then, we will come up with the same answer. Which is 5,965.08. So, round off to the nearest whole number, we have an estimated, a projected total of 5,965 infected individuals from June 9 to June 21. Okay? So, I hope na gets ninyo yung ating mga examples. Okay? So, kita-kits ulit sa ating next video lesson.